Hello YouTubers out there, it's me again, Mavis, coming out with a brand new video. I've been busy a lot of times, you know, um, trying to be independent, um, having my own apartment, uh, maintaining my apartment, vacuuming, the list goes on and on on how to live more in, in living more independently on your own all by yourself and one thing struck to my mind is um uh phone calls that you get that are not on your contact list i've been getting a lot of spam calls text messages you know even your emails can get some stuff that you know that is totally you haven't ordered it or it's somebody something else and you can just block them I have been blocking them um, nowadays they're they don't come as a spam call they come up as a regular number out-of-state number and um, just to get through to a cell phone line they'll call you and I don't really mess around with strangers. I don't mess around with unknown numbers or anything. I make sure my cell phone is very well protective. And um, I do not mess around with strange text messages or anything. And if they're really strange, they usually leave a, a voicemail for me. And I usually go through it and analyze it. But, you know, living in a small royal town, who knows who's out there. It always scares me to, you know, be at the grocery store or be at the gas station. And you got to be really careful who you leave your cell number or contact number with very carefully. Because you don't know what they might do with the number after you give it to them. So... Don't be giving out your number to just anybody. Yes. And don't be like, that's why a lot of people with their landlines, they make sure it's unlisted. Or their cell phone is very private. Their numbers are very private and they, for somehow somebody gets a hold of it and uh, plays with it, the number that, that is given to them. So yes, um, um, a lot of people out there big cities small royal towns everything you never know you never know you know who that individual is so I was always leery of giving myself um friendship to any stranger out there including the school sy systems the public schools you know they want you to be sociable and they want you to get along, but that could lead to danger to being too sociable. That's why there's non-sociable people out there. They're either hurt or they're afraid to trust somebody. Like I said, no trust. No trust is keeping you safe too. You trust somebody and they might let you down. So... Sometimes trust and believing can also, also can get somebody killed. Like, you know, you see somebody, you recognize, you let them in. The next day, they might rob your apartment. In a big city, they usually have cameras that are called ring cameras or outdoor surveillance cameras outside of their windows or homes or apartments, whatever. That's pretty amazing on YouTube what they catch on their cameras and people breaking in and people that they probably trusted to open that door in and think that would never happen to them, but it did. I've been always Larry. I don't take chances on anybody, especially strangers. So, you know, I, I kind of figure out how the person is and then I go from there. But uh, like I said, trust will definitely get you killed out there, especially if it's a stranger that you don't know and you're just acquaintance first and then you start hanging out. But then they might they might backfire on you. So who knows how many people have, are like that? Uh, Billings is a big city. Billings, Montana is a big city. And I 
I wouldn't trust Billings either. That town is, you see a lot of people. They have a lot of rage and stuff. You see it on the news all the time. People are out of control and stuff. So, yes, um, I don't really like Billings at all. Um, I don't really trust anybody either. You know what they're saying. You can't believe hearsay because they heard it from somebody else and then they pass it on to you. So that's a very bad vibe and that's a, that's a, a very bad way of believing somebody. So, yes, unless I see it with my own eyes, you know, I kind of believe it. So, yeah, it's it's getting to a point now this world is very dangerous and you can't trust. Because a lot of people say trust will get you killed and I believe that phrase. Um, let's take a break. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> Sorry for the break. Um... As I said, you know, I don't wander too far. If I do leave, I have to, you know, make sure if I do take my walks three times a day, I make sure it's just around my block. I don't go anywhere else because I'm afraid of strangers. I don't know anybody around here at all. And I do not associate with anybody around here at all. So... The only thing I ever ever do is walk around my block and then I watch movies and then I stay inside. I kind of feel a little bit safer when I'm inside here because it's getting winter out and it was raining a couple days ago. And I love Montana. I love living in Montana. I'm glad I was raised in Montana. And it's really nice. Montana is a very wonderful state to to be raised in. I've been raised in Montana for a long time, and I love the state that I'm in. Compared to other states out there, you know, they're they're hot, the Arizona, and you know stuff like that. Other states, you know, because YouTube is worldwide. So I'm talking to people, you know, out there to be aware of their surroundings, and there's. And there are people that follow them in the bigger cities, which are called stalkers. And sometimes you get those phone calls that are pretty wacky. And then you call it back and it's a non-existing number. So I've been getting a lot of phone calls too. You're not alone when it comes to your phone ringing and you don't know who it is. And you, and you just don't want to know who it is. So you don't pick it up, which is probably the safe way you can deal with that. An unknown number, a spam call, or even a number that you don't recognize. Just sit, stand there and let it ring. And if it's somebody you know, probably they'll want to leave you a voice message. So to identify who they are, who the caller is. So I do not pick up my cell phone for nobody. I wait until they leave a message. Or if it's somebody on my contacts and it appears. So, yes, be very aware of your surroundings and on your cell phone. Because your cell phone can be dangerous too. Some people are out there. Prank calls and stuff like that way. So, yes. Be very aware of your surroundings. And I... Going to tell you guys, have a great day. Have a great evening. Right now, it is fall time in Montana and it's getting really cold. So, yes, have a great day.